All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro, every day, and today we'll try to keep it simple. 23 win streaks so far on the gold stake, trying to catch up to our personal best of 43. Next up, we have the yellow deck. It's not one of the more interesting decks, but it does have a pretty high success rate. We could take a skip here for the investment tag. We could take a double skip for the investment tag. I think this particular boss with the discarding of random cards, this makes it really hard to win if you don't win in just one hand. If the first hand is not enough, this can be very challenging. So I think I'm going to not take the double skip. And depending how the first shop goes, I might not even take the investment tag. Let's go one more time for diamonds. There we go. One shot here gives us, how much is it, 19 bucks? Okay, if I take Jupiter here, I can beat the boss in one flush, maybe. Though, again here, if we don't get the flush in just two discards, then we lose. Could take Jolly Joker here, and then we can win with two pair. Maybe two pair, and then a pair once. Probably we don't go back in time. I'm not ready to give up a hand this early. Uh, could try a buffoon back. I think I'm going to take Jolly and I think I am going to take the investment tag. So if you don't want to take the investment tag, what you could do is you could just play the big blind. And if I'm playing the big blind, then I'm not buying anything here. I'm not going to open the buffoon pack. I can just save my money for interest. If you did want to take the investment tag here, then you would take the buffoon pack. And then that way, okay, if we skip, we have less shops. We get to see less stuff. We see less booster packs. We see less jokers potentially in the shop. So if we skip, then we need to figure out how are we going to win round four? How are we going to win the small blind of anti two? And so maybe uh, taking the buffoon pack is the thing that helps us do that. Maybe if we open the buffoon pack and it gives us some kind of scaling joker, then under those conditions, maybe we don't take the investment tag. I think let's try not taking the investment tag here. For science. So I can play kings and jacks here as two pair. And then we can see that 600 points. If you get the high two pair, so against the boss here, probably that's not going to be what happens. Probably you play a low two pair and then a higher pair, single pair maybe. Now we get a cola. So I am interested in taking the cola. It only cost me three bucks. So I'm looking for maybe Again, skipping for some money in the future. Maybe a um, mega buffoon pack could be worth it. Here, celestial packs, not what I'm interested in. So I'm just going to save my money for interest. Go next. All right, I got eights and jacks, which I know doesn't win. I'm going to throw away these low cards. And then dig for a high pair. Or I guess two pair also works. Maybe there's some consideration for playing the pair in case we get supernova later. It'll be easier to play pairs than two pair. All right, so the result of this is uh, when we, if we would have skipped, we would have gotten the extra $25 after the boss. So maybe uh, we would have had $40 instead of $34, basically. Um, I think the difference there, without taking the investment tag, we are able to see an extra shop. And even though we didn't buy anything from that extra shop, it doesn't mean that it wasn't worth it to look, right? There could have been something. Every time you reroll here, you have a chance of getting nothing. Every time you open a booster pack, you have a chance of getting nothing. That's going to happen sometimes, but it's still worth it to look. I think here, I'm probably going to take the holographic, even though it's perishable. That gives us a lot of early game security here. I would love to have uh, four Fiendrs here, not perishable. We could try to build straights, but if it's going to be perishable, then I'm not even gonna take it. I'm not even gonna try. If I take the spectral pack, it takes me down to $30 on the bank. I could go spectral and standard pack here. 
if I go clearance sale, that takes me down to 24, and then I can get a discount in Spectral Pack. So we do lose a dollar of interest, but also we save a dollar on the booster pack. So I think I will take the clearance sale, and then also I get a discount on the Joker if I want to take the Joker. Here I can use Ankh to copy Jolly, or I can use Incantation here to get random cards. Random enhanced cards. When I'm playing on the yellow deck, I sort of default to playing pairs on the gold stake, and so maybe um, adding these four random cards could be useful for playing pairs. We could try to get uh, at least one of these cards as a gold card. I think the different enhancements are equally weighted. There's eight different possibilities, so you have about 50-50. 50% chance you get a gold card. Is that going to be better than potentially using Ankh here? Um, I'll take another Jolly Joker, that's fine. It's not very exciting, but it's fine, it'll get the job done. Um, I could skip here, now that I have the double tag, I could skip for uh, two ethereal tags. So that'll give me two spectral packs. Um, I get to see four cards, I get to pick two, I get to see four. Um, so that's kind of like a mega pack. Is it the mega ethereal pack worth a skip? I want to say it's marginal. It's probably not worth it. <laughs> um, do I want this standard pack? I think I think I'm going to take the skip. I think maybe this uh, holographic here, maybe we don't need anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go next. Let's take the ethereal tag. Okay, Ouija, if I do this, um, I get minus one hand size, which maybe if you're playing pairs is not the worst thing in the world. Um, you could also, if you convert all these to the same rank, you could go for three of a kind. Then I think I'm gonna take Sigil instead. I think I'd rather not give up my hand size if I don't have to. Here we can get enhanced aces or we could get a purple seal. Um, since we have the extra diamonds now, why don't we do purple seal on either an eight or a seven? How about eight? Maybe we end up on flush houses if we can. Okay, here I could play two pair rather than digging for the full house here. And then two pair one more time wins, so we can play nines and jacks we could discard looking for that purple seal uh it's too late now i guess there's a full house okay could take droll joker since we have the ability to play diamonds pretty easily could take business card here Boss says decrease level of hand. I will take the business card. I can use it a little bit and sell it after. Let's try these standard packs. Steel 9, I'm going to pass. If it's not diamonds, we pass. Blue 10, we take those. Um, it's a 10 of spades. So we could take Droll Joker here. We could try to make flushes work with the blue seal. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. All right, what am I looking at? I could play a straight here. If I want some business card money. Okay. Um, I could go for the diamonds. Since I know I have extra diamonds, I could go for the spades. Because I have the King of Spades and we can try to get the money from the business card. Okay. So there's the flush. We're not going to get the benefit of Jolly Jokers. The next flush wins. So we can dig for diamonds. Okay. If I play this flush, um, I'm going to sell the business card so I don't have to pay the rental fees. 
This should win even without the Jolly Jokers. There's some consideration for selling the Jolly Jokers for an extra dollar of interest, but I think it's worth it to hold on to them just in case. Um, if you do play a flush because we had Sigil and because we had the extra diamonds, you could play pairs of aces or queens or fours, threes. Uh, Jolly Joker can work. We can make it work. Uh, boss has plainly one hand, so now we need more points. Um, I think the acrobat gives us a pretty good job of beating the boss here. Um, maybe let's start with we can get liquidation. We can get a discounted jumbo spectral pack. And we can emulate. Nice. Now, 18 diamonds out of 48 cards in the deck. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable being able to play flushes. Let's make it happen. And then maybe flush houses. Okay, Mars, Saturn, Neptune. I guess you would think, okay, Neptune, that's a thing that we could do. We could play a straight flush. I'm not going to try to do that. I'm going to take the four of a kind instead. We, with Immolate, four of a kind is still very viable, very possible. Um, maybe not in the next three antis, but maybe three antis from now, it could happen. Do I want Acrobat? If I take Acrobat, then we have a 100% to beat this boss. And no matter what happens in the next couple shops. So maybe maybe that's worth it. Maybe that's something that I want to consider. We can go one more. Even as an Eternal here. Uh, could take Mad Joker to replace Jolly. It's not that much of an upgrade. We don't need the rental walkie-talkie. We could go one more. Michelle here as a rental. I think I'm not going to do as a rental. I am kind of interested in the empress though it is going to be slightly expensive it's going to cost us an extra dollar of interest i think that's fine actually all right here i'm looking for my diamonds okay so this is diamonds as a flush we have the jolly joker i think this doesn't one shot Okay, now I want to try to find more diamonds. I have the blue seal in hand. One more time, diamonds. Mm, okay, one more time. Okay, uh, we can go Empress on the fours of diamonds. So we have a nice pair there. We can play the flush. We have the blue seal. So the plan right now is play flushes until we earn the ability to play flush houses. Maybe we get there, maybe we don't get there. Uh, could take Glutinous Joker as a holographic. Mm, maybe I don't have enough clubs. Maybe I don't want that as an eternal. So let's go Celestial Pack. We can get another Jupiter card. Could take Shortcut here. It is perishable. But Shortcut helps you make straight flushes. I think the difficult part of making a straight flush is the straight part of it. I think the, the suit part of it, making a flush is pretty easy. Shortcut actually statistically helps you make straight flushes more so than Four Fingers helps you make straight flushes. Except Shortcut doesn't help you make flushes, whereas Four Fingers does. Um, I think I'm going to take Buffoon Pack here. Could take Mystic Summit is going to be a little bit more reliable than these Jolly Jokers. I don't know if that's super important. Definitely we don't want this Fortune Teller as a rental. Um, I'm going to keep Golden Joker and in general keep as many value generators as I can. Let's go next. Because we got the two upgrades here from the Jupiter cards, we... I don't think we get to win in one. We'll see. So, one thing I could do, I think the safe but slightly expensive thing to do is just play three hands. It costs us three bucks, but it guarantees that we win in one. That way there's no ambiguity about it. 
All right, ship it. Okay, so there, it looks like we would have won if we just submitted the flush, but it was close. So Acrobat is a times three. If we take away the times three, then it would have worked. Uh, Hermit here is great. Blackboard, we can't do. Let's go standard pack first. I get more diamonds. I could get a seven of diamonds, could get a queen of diamonds. I'm going to skip both of those because they're not enhanced. We know we actually only need one flush per round. We can take a Jupiter card from the Celestial Pack first and then take the Hermit card in case we find a fool. We could pick up the Ramen here. Ramen to replace Jolly Joker probably. Sure. Um, could get a Cola. Could get Greedy Joker. So I guess I like the idea of a Cola. Maybe... Droll Joker's out, we take the cola. I know this is perishable, but that's fine. We could go one more. Midas Mask as a money generator. Hmm. Tempting. Um, the safe thing here is you sell Greedy Joker, you pick up Blue Joker, and then you can't lose. Against this boss, you can't lose. You play any hand. Maybe then we end up on pairs rather than flushes. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do the slightly more interesting thing. Uh, do I want Midas Mask? It's really strong, though, let's say you make 20 gold cards in your deck, you don't necessarily get to hold on to 20 gold cards. Maybe if we are playing flushes, we only get to hold on to two or three gold cards in our hand at one time anyway. You kind of sometimes have to discard them to find your flushes. So, is there a universe in which we don't take Midas Mask here? Uh, yeah. Go next. Okay. We got one hand. Let's find diamonds. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to discard anymore. I'm just going to ship it. There's the flush. Um, I could discard for the Mystic Summit, but I actually know that I don't need it. So we'll spare, spare our ramen. Just like we drew it up. Okay, good news is, for the most part, we can kind of just win with a single flush every round. Okay, go Temperance here. Let's try a Celestial Pack. Celestial pack, we've got Jupiter, maybe Mars and Jupiter. I haven't given up on being able to play four of a kind later. It can happen. It's not likely, but it could happen. Uh, could take Cloud9 here as a money generator. I actually like that idea here. If I am playing flushes, maybe I don't feel bad about adding random nines to the deck. Let's go buffoon pack first. Sorry, what kind of skip tags? Boss, minus one hand size. These are skip tags that I don't want. For my double tag that I got from the cola. Could take Michelle here. That's a good idea. Yeah. Give me the money. Go one more. Okay. Judgment. I could replace this Golden Joker. I could hold on to Judgment. I could use Lovers here on... I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Go next. Uh, maybe we use it on a nine. And then that way we have something to copy in the future. So I don't need to discard for the Mystic Summit anymore. Let's play high card. Okay. This is a combo. Acrobat with Ramen here. Okay, do we want to discard three cards to try to find our blue seal? I don't think it's that important to me, so I'm just going to ship it here with a flush. Mm -hmm. 
One more round on Golden Joker means we don't actually get money from it, so I'm gonna sell it, use Judgment. We got Hadsies. Okay, Hadsies doesn't do anything for me. Runner doesn't do anything for me. We'll try a Celestial Pack. Another Jupiter card, cool. Okay, so Arcana, I'm looking for a Fool or a Hermit or a Hung Man, maybe Death card. Maybe we reroll first. Could take Business card as an Eternal Foil. Foil would have been cool four rounds ago, but maybe it doesn't matter anymore. Maybe since I already have Cloud9 as a money generator, I don't take the business card here. Maybe I'm trying to add more nines rather than adding more face cards at the same time. Let's go one more. Could take a free roll here. I like that idea. And I'm going to stop there. We could take a free roll in the next shop. We could make some lucky cards. None of these are diamonds, so I'm going to take the Emperor instead. We get more lovers I don't care about. All right. Let's dig. Um, knowing that I have lovers, I'm going to dig a little bit more aggressively. So how about throw away these four? Ah, bummer. So I guess I will use the lovers and ship it with the flush. What's the, oh yeah, the boss is minus one hand size. Okay. Got a credit card here as a polychrome. Um, I guess that is stronger than the banana, stronger than Michelle here, but the benefit of holding on to Michelle is we can get Cavendish later. Um, since we have the discounted planets, we could hold on to your Venus here. We could re-roll. Uh, could take to the moon. To the moon gives me five bucks right now. It's worse than the clown, but it is, uh, what is it? I guess the clown is perishable, right? Mm. I don't need Michelle for points. I am holding on to it so that I can get Cavendish. Let's go one more. All right, Pluto, Neptune. Now we can open the Celestial Pack and guarantee our Venus or sorry, Jupiter card, then Arcana pack. All right, Temperance for five bucks, Fool for another Jupiter card. That's an easy pickup here. And I will hold on to Neptune. So maybe it doesn't show up in the next shop. All right, let's find those diamonds. One more time. Play a pair. We have the diamonds. Let's go ahead and ship it. Okay, Empress is okay. Tarot Merchant is great. Um, is it worth it to take Empress right now? Sure. Do a free roll here. Don't need walkie-talkie. Before I open these spectral packs, maybe I want to reroll for more tarot cards. Could take a Hierophant. Let's give that a try. Okay, Ouija here. So Ouija onto these diamonds we could use as a setup for our flush houses. Though minus one hand size makes it harder for us to get our flushes, so probably we don't do that. Uh, there's a garbage check here for 10 bucks. I'm not going to take that. Um, yeah, here I think actually I don't want anything from this spectral pack. Um, this is an opportunity I could use these tarot cards upstairs. Maybe do I care what I put them on? Probably I don't care. If I'm playing flushes, probably I don't care. Spectral pack, we can light them up. All right, now we're down to 43 cards in the deck. Now we might be able to find that blue seal. Do a little re-rolling. So erosion's plus 36, and it's a rental. 
So very strong, but potentially unnecessary. Maybe it's strong enough. Maybe it's worth getting rid of Michelle here. Yeah, let's do it. Until we get something better. Go one more. Okay, so that's an $8 reroll. We have perishable photograph. I think I'm not gonna take photograph as a perishable. Let's save our money. For the next shop set of rerolls, boss says first hand face down, no problem. Um, here, let's, if I wanted, I could be more aggressive digging for the blue seals. If I do that, then I'm gonna have to use my discards and I'm gonna have to lose a little bit of ramen, but maybe that's fine. Maybe I actually don't need the ramen. Maybe I can replace the ramen. We have a lot of time. So let's do it. Um, just checking here, there's no way that we can make a flush house. Okay. All right. Ship it. One more time. Okay, I need one more diamond here. Um, I could discard again looking for the blue seal. Let's do it. Bummer. So one thing that is awkward about using the Acrobat here is if I'm using all of my hands, then I get less money each round. Oh well. Photograph as rental perishable is gonna be a no. Okay, we can take some planet cards before opening the celestial packs. We don't need these perishables. Let's go one more. Fool for a hermit is great. Vampire here, we can replace our ramen. That seems pretty chill let's do that we got the tarot tycoon already sorry tarot merchant let's go one more all right now we're cooking uh could take duo here as a times two molt uh is probably worth it i think with as few cards in our deck as we have i think we can reliably hit the pair um I guess it's not whether or not it's worth it. The question is whether or not I want to do that now, um, as far as pacing goes. Do I want to keep the clown for value for a couple more rounds, maybe replace it with a, another different value generator, or do I just want to take the points? Um, I guess I'll take the points. Go one more. We get a cola, we get moon. Probably not gonna use the moon pretty invested in diamonds. I think I'm not gonna take the cola because I don't wanna get rid of Dr. Acula. Let's go Celestial Packs. I was hoping to find more planet cards that we could block, but I guess this is it. Ah, bummer. I'm not gonna spend $9 on a reroll. Let's go next. So now I have a pair of aces. Now I actually don't feel bad about, oh, I should have saved the, uh, should have saved the wild card for the vampire to suck off. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is I don't feel bad about using my discards anymore. I'm going to keep the enhanced cards. I'm going to discard the purple seal. That's great. Okay. Um, don't need this kink. We can use the chariot on an ace. Um, so I could use the chariot for the vampire specifically. I could use it on a two and then not suck it. I kind of like that idea. Um, this wins even without duo. So I'm going to ship it. That's it. All right, Hierophant and also a Chariot. So let's take both of those, open the Arcana pack. We get a Hung Man here. Okay, um, we can make a Zoolander here. We can use the Hierophant on the Aces. 
Uh, I'm going to use the Hung Man to remove an Ace and maybe a Jack. So removing diamonds, of course, then maybe not something that we typically want to do, but in general, removing cards from the deck, making it easier for us to find our blue seals. We actually only need one flush per round. Star helps. Tower is okay, I guess. Uh, go one more. World we don't want. $7 for a reroll. Let's open the Arcana pack instead. We get six bucks, or we can hang them again. Yeah, so do I want to use the star here? Do I want to save the star? Let's save the star. And what cards do we want to remove? Um, yeah, maybe we remove eights and jacks, I guess. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. So here we get the face down cards. If we sort by suit, presumably diamonds on the right. Um, yeah, let's do this. Here or here. Let's use the tower. Play five. Okay, so we lost the king of diamonds. That tells me that the rest of these are diamonds, um, which I could probably just discard, to be honest. Yeah, ship it. Okay, because at the end of the day, we do need to trigger the acrobat anyway. All right. Uh, we got the blue seal here. We could make the flush house right now. The flush house, which is going to score more than the flush. Um, it is a little bit challenging with the face down cards here. We have a little bit of ambiguity. Uh, I guess looking at what's left in my deck, the only way we get the flush house is if we draw two sevens or we draw all of our threes, right? So I have 16 cards in the deck. Hmm. I think it's worth trying. So let's try to get the threes. I have one more three of diamonds. This could be a three of diamonds. What happens if I sort by rank? It gives me no information. Um, okay, so we got the purple seal for temperance. That's okay. Yeah, let's go one more. Uh, I'm looking for just a three specifically. Uh, we didn't get the three. That's okay. I'm going to use the star on the blue seal, I think. I could save the star for one more round. I'm trying to make the flush house. I could just ship it. I guess the advantage of using the star here is we could get another one. Um, also, I could get a death card for the blue seal. Either way, ship it. All right. Uh, we get a blank voucher. That's probably not worth it, so I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, don't need the bloodstone. We can try a celestial pack. Taking Mars here. I told you the four of a kind could get there. How about buffoon pack? Uh, probably buffoon pack doesn't give me anything. Probably we shouldn't even look. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of Eternals here. We can skip and go next. Boss going to debuff my Diamonds. That shouldn't be an issue. So if we look at the deck here, um, I don't have a way of making a Flush House. Um, is that true? I have a Wild 7. Yeah, that doesn't help. So, all right. You know, I might not need... 
The acrobat? I might just... I don't need the acrobat. I don't need to be wasting my hands here, but it does help me dig for the purple seals and dig for the blue seals, so it's fine. Discard one more time. All right, ship it. Uh, choosing not to suck off the steel cards right now. So scoring plenty of points there. Um, magician's fine. I should have held on to the star card for longer. Alright, could take a gold seal ace. Gold seal pretty good, I guess. Mm, nah, we'll just stick with the blue seal. It's getting late. It's getting late in the run. Let's go next. Okay. Uh, one thing we could do is we could use our discards first when looking for the blue seal and then maybe you just draw it right away um, or maybe not. Uh, let's play high card again. One more time. There's the blue seal. We can go use the magician here. Um, is there anything worth discarding for? Not really. Uh, ship it. Because we have the blue seal, because we have the leveled up flushes maybe we don't need to play flush houses if it's too much of a hassle we don't have to do it yeah maybe maybe i have enough x mult where that's unnecessary all right diamonds debuffed unfortunately unfortunately we don't get the blue seal action so i'm just gonna ship it get me out of here oh didn't have the duo on that one. So I guess we'll go for the acrobat here. All right. And then now ship it. Skip tags, we have a top of tag, we have a polychrome tag. Um, I don't think those fit into our build. Standard pack, we could get another purple seal. Um, I'm pretty interested in a purple seal, even though it's not diamonds. Purple seal is good for the vampire. Um, also good for flushes. Getting the tarot cards to build the deck. Um, I think I might actually consider going back in time. We don't need the extra hand anymore. We don't need an extra hand. Yeah. Uh, don't need this perishable to-do list. So if we go back in time here, it takes us to 30 bucks. Let's go next. Okay. I have some purple seals. I can make a steel card. I can make a wild card. Okay. Steel, let's make another steel too. Actually, maybe this doesn't really matter. All right, ship it. Now we got two steel twos. At what point do we get rid of erosion? Maybe soon. Currently erosion is slightly less than a times three. Supernova to replace erosion. Supernova is only plus 18. Flushes, so seems pretty bad in this context. Uh, Celestial Pack doesn't give me anything that I'm interested in, so I'm just gonna skip them all and then go Archon in case we get a fool. 
Uh, could use the devil to make a gold card. Actually, I really like that idea. Maybe I should have done it on the three. I've given up on the flesh house. So now I don't care what ranks I put my enhancements on. I get death to copy either the gold card or the blue seal. And I think you know how this is gonna go. So let's try our best to draw the blue seal. Maybe. How many cards are in my deck? Um, I can use death in an emergency, so this is fine. Okay, how many diamonds do I want to discard? All of them? Hmm, I don't have that many diamonds in the deck. Let's discard uh, just four. There we go. Um, I will use death to copy the purple seal, I think. I think that's worthwhile rather than copying the gold card. Uh, rather than saving the death card and ship it. Using death to copy a purple seal is an investment. Rather than saving the death card to copy a blue seal. All right, we got Hierophant, we've got Empress. We can skip the standard pack, look inside the Arcana pack. I can use Hierophant, I guess. I could take Temperance for six bucks or we can get some more enhancements for the Vampire to suck off. Uh, I guess I will make a steel card rather than a glass card and go one more. Take the devil to make another gold card. Boss here says something, something face down, right? Um, play high card. Okay, we can throw away some diamonds. Now that I don't have the death card, I'm not gonna be as greedy with the diamonds. I have two purple seals. So let's go ahead and use the Empress. Let's go ahead and make a gold card here. Discard. Um, I have lovers for a three. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and ship it. Nice. Okay, we get the ramen. We have the boss reroll voucher. So now we are invincible. Okay. Celestial pack. We don't get a Jupiter card. We can try a Mega Arcana pack. Temperance gives me six bucks, or I can go Magician and Hierophant. Sure. Hierophant and Magician. All right, go next. Maybe it would have been worth it to take the ROM instead of the Erosion. Maybe it's already worth it to just sell the Erosion since I don't need the points, maybe. Um, I can discard a purple eight and a lot of diamonds. We get another Temperance, okay. Yeah, throw away the Steel card. Oops. Accidental pair, my bad. Okay, discard the steel. We don't get the blue seal, bummer. Okay, tower. I could get a stone card for the vampire. Standard pack, I could get an ace for the vampire. Ace of diamonds. I'm actually gonna say no because I wanna be able to draw my purple seals. Don't need the luchador. Could take a hierophant here. All right, now mega arcana pack. We can use the hierophant. I can stone 
the four. I could hold on to the stone card actually if I want. Um, here, if you wanted to make the flush house, you could use strength here. I'm gonna use magician and hermit from a vampire. And go one more. Judgment, nah. All right. Ship it. Let's discard the purple seals. I have the star, which means let's play the high card. Knowing that I have the star, we can discard a little bit more aggressively here. Ah, bummer. Ship it. Okay. We could take the obelisk. So currently high card is our most played hand. We can fix that. Yeah, let's take the obelisk here. All right, okay, sure. Gold seal four. Now I have a star. If I take the gold seal, I can make it into diamonds. Uh, I'm gonna skip. Take a Hierophant and go next. Once I have two tarot cards for the vampire, that's when we stop rerolling. Um, here, I want to play a pair. I can use the Hierophant on the eights. I want to play another pair. I could discard first. I get a fool for a hierophant or I can use the fool for a star. Um, I think using the fool for the star is probably the safe move. Let's play nines and threes as two pair. Let's throw away the ace here. We can discard if we want. What are we discarding for? Discarding for more cards to use the star on. So let's use the star here. Then the fool, I can discard all of these diamonds. Use the star on maybe an ace and two tens, maybe another four. How about the two tens? All right, play the flush, ship it. All right, so after just one round, with only three hands, my obelisk is uh, point one or one point six. We could go back in time again. Boss is extra large. Priestess for Mercury and Earth. I don't need. Could take a star card. I'll tell you right now. We don't need to go back in time. We can beat this boss. We can beat the Violet Vessel. If you wanted to, we could reroll the boss too, since we have the reroll voucher. So I think for the sake of brevity, just to save ourselves some time, I think I'm not going to go back in time. Could take a blue joker here instead of this obelisk. Cool. Um, if you don't know how this interaction works, by the way, the blueprint, it only copies the output of the vampire. So if the vampire says 3.8, then it copies the 3.8. The sucking off or the enhancement effects that happens only the vampire does it. If you use invisible joker and you get two vampires, then the first one sucks off your cards and then the second one is left without anything. The optimal way to scale them if you have two vampires is to alternate them and keep them about equal rather than one bigger than the other because you get diminishing returns. 
Um, I can take a justice card here. Let's go next. Um, yeah, if you want, we could do uh, debuff cards. That's beatable. Uh, random Joker disabled. That's beatable. Force the card to be selected. That's also very beatable. All right, let's skip. Uh, we don't need to take any cards here. Against the boss, I can make a glass card. Actually, that was already enhanced. Ah, bummer. All right, here's a flush. Uh, if I had played the 10 there, it would have won in just one hand. Like this, ship it. Okay. Yeah, so it goes to show you about uh, this acrobat here. I think acrobat is... Uh, Maybe Acrobat is not generally worth it. It's pretty tough. It's pretty expensive using all your hands every round. Um, if you're playing pairs, you use all your hands every round anyway. Um, but you need every hand to score. If you're playing flushes, what you could think about is, okay, this causes my last hand to score just as much as three hands. So instead of playing three flushes per round, I play just one flush per round on the final hand and that gives me all of my other hands I can use for a little bit of noodling if I want. I could use my other hands for non-scoring stuff like mailing rebate money or potentially parking money or, or whatever it is. Ended up not being the case here except for a couple purple seals we were able to do. But all right, pretty chill run on the yellow deck. I hate flushes more than I hate pairs. Go next. Oh, also, the vampire is great. People complain about the vampire being potentially worse than constellation or worse than hologram. It's not worse, it's just different. <laughs> uh, here, if I play the pair of fours, it doesn't win, which means I'm gonna need a second hand here. That sucks. And we didn't get the two pair. We didn't get a higher pair. We used all of our discards and all of our hands on the green deck here. Bummer. So do we take the photograph? Do we take the cardomancer here? I think we take the cardomancer, or at least I take the cardomancer. Cool. Priestess gives me Mars and Neptune, the two hands that I'm not able to play. Let's discard to find some spades. Um, not quite a straight yet, not quite a flush yet. Let's go for the spades. Still missing on the spades. That's not great. Even if we hit here with the flush, we are playing on the green deck, so we get way less money now. Um, we can play the two pair, throwing away a seven. And we still need a pair of queens. Bummer. Four bucks. All right. Do I want Mercury? I want something. Going into the boss, I want some planet card, so let's take a Celestial pack here. Um, could take Mercury, I think Mercury maybe is not enough points. If I have Cardomancer, I'm likely to not just play pairs. Here I could take a Saturn card, maybe Uranus is safer. Saturn we can win in one, maybe. Maybe if I have the Cardomancer, then doing straights is the kind of thing that I want to do. Give that a try. Go next. Um, I need to make room for my Cardomancer, so let's sell one of these. Strength means we get the straight for sure. We can't miss. Okay, I can use strength on a six. 
and a two here, I guess. And then ship it. Next round, we're gonna need a little bit more. Okay, telescope. I could do telescope straights. I could take a lustful joker here. I think the thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take lustful joker. Do I want scary face at the same time? Also, probably. Um, then I'm broke. Let's go next. Spin the wheel. Yeah. Oh well. Let's get some hearts. All right. The boss says play only one hand. Maybe. A little bit spooky. So we could do telescope with some flushes, I guess. Uh, sure. So for now, just go next. We get temperance for seven bucks. I'll go ahead and use it now. I guess there's no benefit to doing it now. Since we're playing on the green deck, we don't benefit from interest. I will play the straight here. Leveled up straight with only three hearts is plenty. One thing I really like about the design of the sinful jokers and the gem jokers, you don't have to play flushes. You can just play maybe three hearts at a time as part of a straight. I think that's kind of nice, flexible design. So we definitely want the Jupiter card. We definitely want the telescope. And since we don't benefit from interest, let's go ahead and take the celestial packs. That's the thing about the green deck. Because you don't get interest, you have to work harder to get your money. Discards cost me a dollar every time I discard. And so that factors into what kind of build am I going for? How discard dependent is it? How many hands do I need to play each round? Uh, do I want Todd here as a perishable? I think because I have the leveled up flushes, I don't need this. Let's go next. Um, I do need a flush here. I can get spades. I think with the Empress, if I do the two pair plus the scary face, I think we can get a thousand points. Maybe. Let's go for the spades. One more time. Okay. Um, I'll use the Empress on. I won't. I don't think I'm not. I don't think I'm going to use the Empress here. I think the flush already wins. I'm going to save the Empress for my hearts. Yeah. Okay. Acrobat as a perishable could take tribe here. It's a times two eternal. Times two is not very strong, but maybe it's strong enough. If we take this, we can't afford the celestial pack. Um, that's fine. I feel okay about that. This gives us a temporary boost. I guess what I could do is I could sell the Empress card and then I can take the Celestial Pack. I think that's worth it. All right, anyway, um, with the tribe here, I think we can win in one hand maybe. Uh, do we go for diamonds here or do we force the hearts? I think I'm committed to doing hearts. Maybe to my own peril. All right, let's use the Hierophant on the high cards and ship it. The boss says my spades are gonna be debuffed. Cool. All right, uh, death is great but also hallucination is really strong or important. So death helps us in the short term. I think hallucination is gonna be better long term. That's tough. 
we get the hung man. Okay. So pick a suit. How about diamonds? I'm gonna hang him. And then dig for hearts. Okay. Cost me two bucks every time I miss on the hearts. There's another two bucks. But then we can win in one. Well, win in one hand. Not necessarily the first hand. Okay, could take a blueprint here. So, it's perishable. So what does it do in the short term? I guess I can't afford it right now. So I guess let's go choosing Spectral instead of Arcana. Incantation for some numbered cards. I'm gonna use Cryptid on the King of Hearts. That way it's a face card in hearts. Let's go next. Hungman, all right. So we removed some diamonds before. Probably I keep removing diamonds, or maybe what we do is we keep the Jack of Diamonds and turn it into hearts later. So how about let's remove the two of clubs now. Dig for those hearts. All right, ship it. All right. Good news is we can one shot the next round. The bad news is uh, I don't know if we can do much beyond that. Definitely the Celestial Pack here helps. We can take a Jupiter card. We can try a Priestess for another one. Okay. We can open a Buffoon Pack. I guess here what I'm looking for, I'm looking to replace Scary Face. The boss is extra large. That's not great. Uh, arrowhead. Mm, I guess we could get rid of Lustful Joker. And then go Spades Flushes. I could take Madness here. As an Eternal. If I have Telescope. And I have Eternal Tribe. I have Eternal Cardomancer. That could be viable. Eh. It seems dangerous. It could be viable, but it does seem dangerous. I gotta be honest about that. Um, I think I'm not gonna do Madness, not as a rental. Maybe if it wasn't a rental, I would do it. So, I uh, could take Michelle here instead of Lustful Joker, and then that way we don't have to go for Hearts. But if Michelle leaves us right before the boss, that could be awkward, if not fatal. Probably I'd go for hearts anyway. Uh, let's skip. And go next. I could skip here to reroll the boss. I think I'm just gonna suck it up. So let's use lovers on the jack. And then that way we can win in one and get a little bit extra money. Flush house is still an option. We can beat the boss in two flushes. If we can get two flushes, we can beat the boss in two flushes. Um, I want this spectral pack, I want this arcana pack. Spectral pack. I could go hex here, we got a blue seal. Um, yeah, maybe blue seal on the seven of hearts. Since I don't have any face cards, let's go Arcana Pack as well. So Fool for Lovers, I could use Sun here to get more hearts. And then maybe against this boss I can play two flushes. Um, I think I prefer the Hung Man though. So we can get the Blue Seal more easily. Though there is different risks associated with that. All right, nine and three, let's hang them. And I could sell the world to pick up a devil card. Go next. 
emperor. Okay. So I didn't get the blue seal, but I do have a hand that wins. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one discard and then that way I can use the devil on the nine. Use it on something that's hearts. I could make a steel card. I could save the chariot for the boss. And then that way I have a guaranteed steel card versus the boss. That seems productive. All right, ship it. All right, with the face cards, we score more points, but we're not necessarily guaranteed the face cards. Uh, two celestial packs here is pretty good. So we can sell the star. Celestial pack gives me Jupiter. Empress is pretty good. Actually, Empress is probably worth holding on to, but I can get, I could get better things from Hallucination and also Cardomancer. So I'm gonna sell it. Emperor is worth it. All right, so let's go next. Step one, draw some hearts. I have some hearts. Knowing that I need two hands, for sure need two hands, use the chariot on the 10. I would prefer to use the chariot on hearts rather than clubs, but oh well. Uh, we can use the emperor here, hermit, and empress. Um, I'm willing to use empress and ship it. Okay, now all we gotta do is find hearts. Okay, how many hearts do I have? I have six hearts in the deck. I don't need the steel card anymore, so let's throw away the steel card. We had the blue seal, so we... Okay. Um, I play the gold card. This is fine. Ship it. That's it. All right, so what's the plan with this Hermit card? We got 10 bucks right now. Could take a blue Joker. Mm -hmm. It's a rental. Could get a death card here. Yeah. All right, Hermit. So here's the thing about Blueprint, right? It's a rental, and so one thing that you can use Blueprint 4 is you can copy whatever your best scoring joker is. And it's all right, okay, well now all of a sudden I can score a lot of points. But if it's a rental, then maybe you could score the same amount of points without the rental. Maybe there's some other way of achieving the same goal, and so maybe it's not worth the rental fee if all you're doing is using Blueprint for points. But if we are using Blueprint for maybe something a little bit more interesting. Maybe we're using Blueprint to copy Cardomancer. That could be very good. Blueprint to copy Hallucination, if I can swing it. Um, so maybe what I wanna do here is get rid of Scary Face. Take the Blueprint. Um, I think Death is just premium and you should always take it. And I'm not gonna open the Arcana Pack yet. I wanna maintain money, even though we don't benefit from interest. I do kind of want to try to get hermits, maybe. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to open the Arcana packs here. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, maybe a little bit premature there. I guess we can go, let's do it. Let's just go negative money, whatever. <laughs> Um, let's go Celestial Pack first. Use the Jupiter card, sell the Hierophant, go Arcana next. I would like to use the Death card before I leave the shop. So Fool for Jupiter or Fool for Death. Um, man. Let's 
Use fool for death. These jacks are very good. Okay. And emperor, or should I use the chariot here? I guess I'll use the emperor. Sun is probably exactly the thing that we want. Let's go next. We get a hung man. Nice. So now, how do we want to slice this? Uh, spades, we can hang them. My flush is weaker than a flush house if I just want to play a flush house. Now we have 46 cards in the deck. I have Cardomancer and I have Hallucination. Um, if I do flush houses, it's going to be a little bit awkward with the telescope, but I guess on the green deck here, you kind of want to win in one hand instead of digging for the flush house. Let's just stick with flushes, I guess. Fine. If I use the sun here, I can win without discarding and that saves me money. Fine. I guess. Ship it. Or what's the boss? The boss says face down after blade. Okay. All right, so we do have eight bucks. Um, we could take Northern Lion here. So claim. I don't think I need this lustful Joker. Take Northern Lion. Let's start with the Celestial Pack. Get a Jupiter card. Um, Lovers is helpful, but I'm probably going to sell it because I want two cards from the Cardomancer. Um, I could go standard pack here just for the hallucination value. That would be it. I think I want to save my money for Arcana packs and Celestial packs. Let's sell Lustful Joker, pick up Northern Lion here. If I have the telescope, I think you don't need Lustful Joker. Let's copy the Cardomancer and go next. Okay. Um... Strength I don't care about, so I'm just going to sell it for money. We can use another Jupiter card. We can get rid of Uranus. Um, my expectation here is I need two flushes to win because we got rid of Lustful Joker. Okay. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Ship it. If I have Cardomancer and I have Hallucination and I have Blueprint to copy them, then Northern Lion is very high value for us. Um, I think even higher value than Golden Joker. So... Do I want a red card? I think red card we don't need. Celestial Pack. Jupiter. I'll take Jupiter. I will sell... Hierophant. I'm not going to take the standard pack here in case we get a hermit. Let's go next. Okay, Emperor looking for death, looking for the hung man. We got death here. So let's discard once. Um, not a flush yet. I could use death here. I could save the death card for the blue seal or possibly also the gold card i think because of this particular boss is particularly annoying i am actually just going to use the death card here that way i know i have a flush i could just ship it nice steel card helps because we have the leveled up flushes, we can use Hermit now. Copy the hallucination. So liquidation is going to make my temperance value worse. So I think I'm not going to take liquidation yet. I'm going to wait until the end of the ante, even though it gives me a discount on these booster packs here. Uh, maybe that's fine. Hmm. Fortune Joe is kind of big, but also irrelevant. All right, I haven't been wrong before, so let's go 
fool for hermit i don't need strength i can use jupiter and then follow it up with a hermit i can go buffoon pack rough gem for diamonds nope steel joker um do i need the points from steel joker or i just stick to all these value generators let's just stick to the value generators we have some re-rolling money could go one more how about one more all right eight dollars for a re-roll i'm just gonna save my money and go next spread out the re-roll money copy the cardomancer we get another hermit okay There's a flush. Ship it. Just like we drew it up. What's this boss situation? First hand face down. Bummer. Okie dokie. So, Arcana 1. Hierophant Empress. Wheel. I guess wheel. Eh, never lucky. So, I could open the Arcana pack right away. I think there's some consideration for re-rolling first. Re-rolling to try to get tarot cards first. Because the Cardomancer copied with Blueprint here, uh, when we leave the shop, we can't hold on to tarot cards, or at least we're incentivized not to hold on to tarot cards. So maybe I want to get tarot cards now. Um, $8 for re-roll. Nah. Um... There are a lot of situations where I actually prefer Hallucination instead of Cardomancer for exactly that reason. So here, whatever tarot cards we get from the Hallucination, we can use them right away. If this were a death card, I could use it right away. Um, and then that way we wouldn't be holding on to cards and blocking the Cardomancer. I think the Cardomancer gets blocked a lot. Um, Temperance is 17 bucks is probably what we want. Um, I can use death to copy the queen, I guess. Follow it up with the hermit. Now that I have 73 bucks, I'll go one more. Star I don't need. Seance we don't need. Not that it couldn't work, just that we don't need it. All right. I'm going to go hermit for 20 bucks first. I'm going to use the hung man on basically anything that's not hearts. Here's the flush. Um, now if we get a fool, it'll copy the hung man. Um, we need a second flush. That's kind of dangerous, especially with this boss here. Might have difficulty getting two flushes if we have the face down cards. So I'm looking for some celestial packs. We have one celestial pack that we can take. Sure. Uh, take a Jupiter card. We can go standard pack for the hallucination value. Since we have the money, we could do it. Um, could take another blue seal, take a blue queen. Uh, red seal king, I could try to turn into a red steel card. Is pretty good proposition. I think I'm going to take the blue seal um now i kind of want to re-roll for tarot cards maybe i don't know uh could take gift card here instead of northern lion that's better so i guess i'll do that um i will take the liquidation because i think it's going to be worth it long term and let's go next. So I'm hoping for some good hits off the Cardomancer. These are not the most useful hits. So if I sort by rank, if I sort by suit, there are some adjustments here. I, I need three flushes. So maybe what we start with is Hmm. So if I sort by suit, what's this? This is a low card. What's this? This is a low card that moves up here. Okay. So these 
sorting by suit. Um, knowing that it takes me exactly three hands to win, I can burn one and then that way I get more information. Okay. Now I know that this is safe as a flush here. If I sort by rank or suit, this might be hearts. Anyway, let's play this flush one. Um, we hit on the lucky cards. All right, so if I sort by rank, this is a low card. This has to be hearts. Can't be clubs. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I have the flush here. Is it worth discarding for a blue seal or a gold card? I think it is worth discarding. Okay. All right, ship it. Okay. I need a sun. Crystal ball. I love it. Period. Uh, we got a nice amount of money going into these celestial packs. We remember we have the telescope. Justice is pretty good. Um, yeah. Boss says playing a flush is going to take all my money. I could. I don't have the reroll voucher. Ah, yeah, bummer. So let's take a Jupiter card here. Let's probably sell the Empress. We got a little bit of reroll money. Northern Lion came back around. Let's go one more. Eight dollar rerolls. Could take hack here. We could re-trigger maybe a three or a five. I actually don't have that many low cards, so I'm just gonna copy the cardomancer and go next. Lovers. Meh. So discard once. I can play this flush. If I use justice, I can make a glass card. I can win in one. Is it worth using a discard here to get a blue seal? We can use lovers on the spades here. I can make a glass ace. Probably it's worth it to make a glass face card. Um, okay. I I will play the glass card. The glass card wins. Okay. We could get the photograph as a perishable. We have exactly five rounds left. Um, we have enough face cards we can make it worth. So maybe photograph instead of hallucination probably yeah that's fine standard pack we get judgment um, gold seal five I'm gonna skip I just want maybe face cards in hearts so we could take this gold queen could be so I think with cardomancer you keep the gift card you sell the hallucination or maybe what we do is keep the uh, tarot card generator, sell the money generator. Yeah, that's fine. That's the point of the gift card, right? The point of the gift card is that you can sell it <laughs> um, and still retain the sell value on your jokers, except we didn't keep it for that long. Um, to do this, we can sell to pick up the photograph here and we can use Jupiter before doing a little bit of re-rolling. Emperor gives me a hung man. Perfect. Uh, could take a spaceman here. Probably not going to be relevant. So let's go next. Okay. Diamonds, we hang them. And all of these um, hearts, actually, I'm going to discard them. Okay, so I have a winning flush. I could discard one more time looking for my blue seals. Maybe. Ah, uh, bummer. Um, 
I like the idea of using the magician on the jacks here. So we can try to get money. Priestess. Nope. All right, copying the tribe and putting the lucky cards in the front because we have the photograph. Let's go ahead and ship it. Hmm. Maybe we need one more of those. That's okay. Ship it. Okay, the boss is gonna be a two-hander. No problem. Okay. Celestial pack, I wanna open the spectral pack second. I have chariot, I have death. Okay, that's great. We get the hung man. So, this gold queen, I guess we can make into a steel queen. And we can go death to copy. Six and an ace here, we can hang them. Um, could go purple seal here. We could, actually we could sell the photograph and use hex if we wanted to. Uh, mm, nah, I'll go purple seal on, maybe purple seal on the jack of spades. So if it's early on in the run, I would say put the purple seal on hearts because then you can copy the purple seal with the death card. But now that it's later on, what am I using my death cards on? I'm using it on these polychrome cards. So maybe it's okay that we have a discardable jack. Um, could take smiley face here. We could reroll one more time. Um, the boss is gonna take away all my money. Uh, could take Senor Huesos here. Wesos basically, um, this gives us a free pass against the final boss. This is not something that I like to take early because it takes up a joker slot, but it does give you times four molt against the final boss. I think it's time we can get rid of the hallucination. Go one more. We could get the idol. So the idol picks a random card in your deck. So it's like two thirds of the time it'll pick a random heart card. And whichever heart card that it picks, we have two of each. We have two threes, we have two sevens, we have two eights, we have two nines, multiple queens, multiple kings. So I think idol could be pretty good. Um, trading card also pretty good, but maybe not something that we need to do right now at this point with only four rounds left. Let's get rid of Senor Huesos and pick up the photo or pick up the trading card. Let's go next. So. Um, I do have the purple seal here. Let's snap off a four. Um, yeah, discard the purple seal. We get temperance for 12 bucks. Ah, bummer. So how about one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Here's the flush. Um, put the face cards at the back here. And ship it. All right, what are we up against? Hey, Steel Joker came back. We get an extra discard for sure. We forces a card to be selected. Also, we have a Luchador here. Um, yeah, if you wanted to. Could take a luchador here and then we could skip to the boss i guess if that's the thing that you want we're into maybe standard pack here we get another blue seal nah arcana i could take temperance for 12 bucks sure let's do a little re-rolling get a death card here nice I'll take a death card. I will make room for the cardomancer and go next. All right, let's battle. Okay. Um, sell the world, use the emperor. What's the emperor got? 
uh doesn't matter so i guess this eight let's make a glass king okay eight in front and copying tribe let's go ahead and ship it Alright, well that's interesting. Okay, two more wins on the gold stakes. That brings us up to now 25 win streaks. We got a couple more rounds with the trading card. The trading card moving its way up in the world. I think, uh, you know, here, Constellation and Hologram. I, I would rank trading card higher than all of these. I would put it at the top, actually. But uh, maybe it's not all the time that we get the trading card. Not that it doesn't deserve the top spot. It's just that we haven't found it that much. Um, all right, we've got uh, level 21 flushes. That was mostly because of the telescope here. We did technically have the blue seal, but we didn't really use the blue seal that much. Um, I think in a normal run, you get uh, maybe level 10 or 11 hand, let's say 10 or 11 flushes with the telescope that doubles to, let's say 20, level 20 with the telescope. And then with the blue seals, usually it's uh, maybe 40. 30 40 level hand uh, with burnt joker you can get up to level 50 pairs sometimes uh, ended up playing flushes this time instead of just pairs which is fine um, is there any specific benefit to playing flushes on the green deck instead of pairs let's say with pairs you usually need to play a lot of hands and on the green deck if you play extra hands it's going to cost you extra money and so maybe that's an incentive to play something other than pairs is flushes the correct answer instead i think flushes you typically end up in a situation where you need to play multiple flushes so maybe that's not necessarily the answer though uh maybe here we got the tribe and that was what really locked it in there was some early game stuff that we got uh let's see here we got lustful joker we got scary face and those kind of put us in the direction of doing flushes, doing hearts flushes with the building around the face cards for the scary face. Um, and we also got the telescope to enable us to get more Jupiter cards. And that's what started us in this direction. I think you still could have, if you wanted, pivoted two pairs or pivoted into, let's say, two pairs. But the thing that really locked it in the most, I want to say, is... If I've got Cardomancer, Cardomancer, which gives me a lot of tarot cards, I think maybe this is a little bit undervalued by some folks. Um, it's a lot. Uh, with 20 rounds here, because we did some skips, but maybe 24 rounds in a normal run, then that's 20 tarot cards, right? Um, and you could do a lot with that. So if I have access to that many tarot cards, if I have access to that, then I try to play some kind of five card hand. It's like, okay, what about all, all these tarot cards? Let's try to make flush houses happen. Um, we can play flushes and then end up on flush houses. Um, I can try to make four of a kind happen if I have access to all these tarot cards. I would be willing to play straights if I had some kind of jokers that enabled that. But um, I think without any specific jokers, I think with cardomancer it pushes me in the direction of flushes ending on flush houses and of course uh taking the tribe for the times two notably here times two is fine but it's not the most rewarding and maybe there are a lot of better things that we could have done with this joker slot so uh not the worst eternal but maybe not the best and so worth at least considering worth at least a little bit hesitating on whether or not to take the times two, spend uh, a joker slot on a times two, spend a joker slot on a value generator every time, but whether or not I want to take a times two, maybe not. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Take care, everyone.